Hey guys, what it do? It's your boy Supreme Chia the God, and today I wanna talk about Killua. So I've pretty much caught up to Hunter Hunter. Uh, I did watch the anime years ago, the first 62 episodes, and I got pretty bored. Like I was really enjoying it, and then I just wasn't. Uh, and I think this is the advantage of manga. I think you can skim past those chapters that they over, uh, over explain and over. You know what I'm saying? When they're like telling you moves and how the move is done, it's like. Let us figure it out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like that's something mangas tend to over to do a lot is over explain shit. Like, they be telling me about mathematics and how this quad fucking rectangle creates whatever the freak, and that's why the move works. And I just don't care. I know some people do, but I think then it's up to them to figure that shit out and why it works. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't really think like those blocks or text really get on my goddamn nerves. One piece. I know that a massive tendency to do that shit and it's annoying. Uh, and Hunter Hunter man, I remember those like one one chapter where it was just blocks of text explaining the game or the rules or whatever. And I was like, just show us the freaking game, bro. Just show us the game, bro. You wait. I was like, what, bro? There wasn't even drawings in those pages. There was like two straight pages, text, blocks of text, bro. If I wanted to read a novel, I'd fucking read a novel. I'm not reading Game of Thrones, bro. Like, what? What do we do? <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to start covering the Game of Thrones comics, uh, which is the same thing as the book, just in comic form, uh, just so I can fly through it quicker because I was trying to read the novel, and it's fantastic. Don't get me wrong, but it also takes way longer because it has to describe the place instead of just showing the place. You know what I'm saying? Um... But yeah, so I'm I'm really enjoying enjoying Hunter x Hunter. I think it's sensational. It's fantastic. Uh, I can see why it inspired so many other stuff. Um, and yeah, so Kilo is one of the most intriguing characters in Hunter x Hunter for me. Uh, because, you know, he... Obviously, spoilers. You know what I'm saying? This goes all the way to the Chimera Ant arc. Um, when we meet him, he's clearly way stronger than the other boys. Um... And I'm going to talk about the other guys as well at some point in a different video. I'm going I'm to try to do each character. Or maybe apart from Leo, Leroy. Leo, because he just he doesn't have as much development as the rest. Um, but I'm sure since he's one of the main four, I'm sure he's going to get his soon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, so, you know, we meet Killua and he's already a fully fledged assassin. And he le ran away from home because he doesn't want to be an assassin anymore. And he wants to find his own way in his own path. Um, and it's beautiful because it's just a kid that wants to discover himself. Um, but obviously his family isn't happy that he left. He's even scratched, attacked his mom before he left, um, causing chaos and, and yada, yada, yada. Then, uh, he meets Gun, another kid, like, around his age, who's trying to be a hunter. Now, Kilo wasn't really trying to be a hunter. He just wanted to, like, have a bit of fun, test himself, you know what I'm saying? But then he met Gun, he was like... A kid my age trying to get a hunter license? That's crazy. Because, you know, Kilo is obviously a unique child. Um, electric shock therapies and shit. Since, like, he was three or some shit. You know what I mean? So, he he he's a different breed. But Gun was living in the wild. So, he had a different type of experience. Um, and, uh, you know, so, obviously, Kilo is way stronger than Gun. And way stronger than the other guys as well. Um, but the other guys begin to grow rapidly. You know what I'm saying? Especially gun, gun senses. You know what I'm saying? His natural senses are insane. He could smell better than most animals. You know what I'm saying? He can smell like a dog already. You know what I'm saying? He can smell people. He can. He's 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 reaction. His speed. He he was already really really acute, but he just didn't have combat experience. He didn't have you know what I mean the experience really to to utilize all his abilities. And obviously he didn't have Nen and neither did Kilowa. Um, and you know the. You know, as they go on their journey and, and they do the hunter exam, we learn more about Killua and his tendencies and that he's trying to quench his 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 um his lust for murder, right? He's trying to quench his, his blood thirst, you know what I'm saying? Um he feels like killing people several times and he has to stop himself. Like he he you know, he thought he could kill uh Netero, but obviously there's no chance in hell he could. But he you know, he had that bloodlust. And a beautiful thing we learn way, way later during the Chimera Ant arc is that at some point during the the Hunter exam, and I'm not sure where, but at some point during the Hunter, Hunter exam, I think after he fought Netero, 
you know, after he he left and walked away from Netero, and probably at some point when he met his brother, he got like a screw implanted in him. Um, it could have also happened after the Honto exam when he went back home. It could happen then, but I think it happened beforehand only because he gets a shift in attitude at some point where he kind of becomes more cautious. Now, I think part of it is that he cared about his friends and not wanting him to get hurt. He felt he could survive most of the situations, but he didn't feel his friends could handle it. Um, but I think at some point he started kind of acting more cautious than we saw him at the start. You know what I'm saying? He, he was pretty like gung ho, just like, I'll kill you if you fuck with me type, type, type ish. Um, and then he just, I don't know, he just became super cautious. And that's obviously what his brother put something in, in, in his brain that, like, made him fear and think of his brother. Uh, and I think it's probably during the last exam that it probably happened, actually. Because that's when he's, actually, maybe before that, because there was, like, a fear in him. Um, and maybe he even implanted it a long time ago. But it was slowly moving to his brain until it hit you know, a part of the brain that, that, that the fear receptor of his brain activating it. And, um, and the crazy thing is his dad and, and the grandpa, they, they knew about it. Right. But they wanted him to get strong enough to figure it out and remove it and defeat his brother in that sense. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that's one of the reasons they let him go out and leave. And I think, and it also, it was also to protect him from dying. Um, because without it, he was fearless. Right. Um, and if you have to think about it in this way, because his brother, you know, when he was talking to Hisoka was like, I don't want my brother to die and I don't want Gun to die. You know what I'm saying? Uh, cause he, his brother somewhat cares about him despite not really acting like it, but they're assassins, you know, they're weird like that. But if you think about it, he put that fear receptor so that Killua will have no choice but to flee when somebody has the intent to kill him. And I think that's probably... This is where I think perhaps it happened before he went there. And the reason why he was ready to fight N N uh, Netero is because Netero would have zero intent to kill him. Um, and I think Netero can also control his his Nen so much better than, than you know, than most. Than, he's probably the best Nen user ever, right? Obviously, he's not in his prime anymore. But if we, if we just look at it, you know what I'm saying? He's about 50 years past his prime. And the fight he gave... The king, I'll make a video about the king. Um, you know, it showcases a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm I was just really intrigued by Killua's progression and growth. Uh, and then obviously, you know, after the final exam, he left and went back home, and his friends followed him, and got him. You know, and then he talked to his dad, and his dad let him leave, and told him never betray your friends. And that was an interesting thing. I was like, wait, what? Because. I thought his family were pure weirdos and assholes and da 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 da, but it seemed like they did have some care for him, um, just in a peculiar way. Again, a family of assassins. What what can you expect, right? Uh, so I was really intrigued, and then he went on his journey, and there was something definitely holding him back. I noticed that he became way more timid after the hunter exam than he did before. Even when we went back to do the hunter exam again, and he passed, and he murked everybody. I don't know. There was something missing, right? There was like a fierceness missing. There was like the bloodlust that he used to display was missing. Um, and this is where I think that the, the screw went deeper. I think it activated when, you know, he met somebody with killer intent that was way superior. And I think from then, it just kept affecting him more and more and more and more and more. Because even though he got way stronger and stronger... His mentality seemed weaker and weaker and weaker, which was weird. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I was glad then, you know, he invented Godspeed. And again, as soon as Godspeed ran out, he fled instead of continuing. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, Gon would never, you know what I'm saying? Gon would die there if he has to. And I think that's what differentiates Gon's potential to Killua's potential. But I think now that Killua has removed it, I think he's awakened his potential to a new level. You know what I'm saying? But I think he's still somewhat not, not there yet. You know what I'm saying? But I think he's not there yet because, again, he doesn't want to be a killer. He doesn't want to be an assassin. And even his showcase when he saved uh, the squid. I'm going to make a video about him too. Um, And I think it showcased that his compassion 
has grown, right? While Gon was always like a balanced guy that didn't necessarily care if you were evil or good as long as you were like, your intent wasn't negative, right? He he was willing and you cared about people and you had that compassion. You had something in you that was positive. He would accept, <laughs> excuse me, he would accept you uh, to some degree. But Killua also became like that. While Gun be was becoming less like that. Right? So they were going on opposite trajectories. Kilo was the one just ready to kill everybody. Gun was the one like, I'll kill him if if he does this or if he says that or if he tries this. You know what I'm saying? But otherwise, I'll just defeat him. Just need to kill him. Um, and I, that's what I really like about Kilo is just his character progression. His friendship with Gun is sensational. And he really cares about this guy. And he sees him as his best friend. Uh, and Gon obviously is the one that words this shit out. Because Killua knows it, but he doesn't want to word it. Again, assassin. Um, and just to see him in the, in the Chimera and Arc just fight against himself. Right? He's thinking, should I stop Gon or should I not? I know Gon needs to do this, but I don't want him to go too far. And that's one of the reasons he stopped Gon from, from you know, uh, killing the girl i'll make a video about her and i'm purposely not saying these names um if you know you know the girl the king video you know what i'm saying um and it's really good man it's really good and i'm excited to see what he does and where he goes from here because he is currently on a mission to find a way to save his to save gun and he needs his sister's help the translation sometimes says sister, sometimes says brother, but I would say sister because that's what Gun says sister, but the dad says he and brother, so I'm going to just say sister. And since everything he's gone through, he realized that he failed his sister by allowing his family to lock her up for all these years. And I think that's probably one of the key reasons that drove him to leave the family job. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I think it hurt him that his sister was taken despite of her actions right and it seems like his sister's like the most powerful fucking thing on earth bro because her abilities are broken like uh, broken obviously if you just stab her to that she's gonna die but if if she has a conversation with you it's up it's up you say no you say yes you say no you say yes you say no you say yes and you're dead you know what i'm saying um it's it's a really interesting Nen ability, uh, it it kind of reminds me of Curse Energy in Jujutsu Kaisen and how those like, you know, you can do like um vows and shit. You can, you know what I'm saying? Those like it's you can manipulate in certain ways. You can, it's really interesting. Um, but yeah, that's Killua. I love Killua. I love his powers. I I love his uh his 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 characterization. His his attitude and the fact that he's willing to change. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that he cares about Gun's mental state more than everybody else's. He was the only one to notice that Gun's eyes became an abyss of darkness. You know what I'm saying? And he was afraid that Gun will never turn back. Until Gun then invited him to go with him to fight against uh, against Pichu. And then... Kilwa couldn't figure out what he meant. Was it stop me? Was it fight with me? Was it watch was it what was it you know what i'm saying and killer was like i wanted you to rely on me and for both of us to do this you know what i'm saying because gun even called him out like yo you only like like acting so nonchalant and calm and at ease because you it means nothing to you and i think gun kind of stopped himself and killer looked at him and there's a lot of chapters where killer just looks at him and looks and thinks but doesn't say anything it's really interesting. I really want to know what he thinks fully. And I can't wait to get there. But, you know, I think he just wants to save him. And and that has extended to him wanting to save his sister. And realizing the error of his ways. Because he goes, okay, I need to, I need my sister to do this. And then when he gets there, he's like, wait. Because, you know, for him, it's so normal for his sister to be locked up. Because she's been locked up for years. But he's like, why did I allow this? Why didn't I fight back? Why? And subconsciously, he probably doesn't, doesn't even know this. But that's probably why he left. Um, and I think he needed to learn that compassion and, and get rid of that, just be a killer, be a robot, be a machine in order to see 
that it's not fair to put his sister in a box just because of her abilities. Perhaps it's better to teach her how to use it and to teach her to be a better person than to just cage her in. But yeah, anyway, it's been your boy, Supreme Chair of God. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I am out.